Yeah, hello guys. Now let's start the series of Spring Boot. Okay. In last video, we discuss about the social media application. That 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 is the small application we are going to create, and we will create the REST API. Okay. So for that, we discuss that uh, what we have two resource for the social media user and post, and its detail is uh, ID, name, birth date, and post is ID and description. Now let's start to create by practically. So for that, what we have to do? Firstly, we have to create the user. Okay, so just right click, new and class, and user. We are going to create the user class and change the package name. So it will be model. Okay, so click on finish. So you can see that the user class has been created and in different package. So what should be in uh, in user? In user, it should be a ID name and birth date. Okay, so private uh, private int ID and private string name and private uh, local date local date control space. You can click local date birth date birth date is a variable name. Okay done and uh, we have to take the constructor so right click and source and this constructor okay select this all and click on generate yeah you can see the constructor has been created now let's create the uh, getter setter source generate getter setter select all and generate yeah getter setter has been generated to print this values we have to use the to string so go to source and this implementation method and this to string and okay okay done so user class has been created using the id name and birth date okay then these three thing has been done which we which we saw in uh, this social media application yeah you can see that user and its id name birth then then we have to create the one uh, uh, data access uh, data access object class so from there we will store the details of user and we will retrieve okay so for that we have to create that service class just right click then new then create class 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 uh, you can say that uh, DAO service service class okay DAO user service we can type user service okay then finish yeah done then uh, here we will store the data uh, details of user at the rate component this annotation we will use okay see in two ways we can store the data of the user firstly we can store the data uh, of user in database using JPA and Hibernate. Okay, using Hibernate, we will uh, we will see it further. Firstly, we will learn uh, how to store data statically and how to use it. Okay, and then we will um, go to the uh, Hibernate. Then how we will store using the Hibernate JPA in MySQL or Postgres? We can use any database. So firstly, we will learn statically 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 uh, statically we will store the data okay so how we are going to store for that what we have to do we have to uh, create here public okay and uh, list of user list of user and uh, users new array list array list this one done and uh, import this so click here uh, right uh, okay right control space list imported you are done now we we will store the data inside the user as a static 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 okay okay so firstly store the data inside the list of user users add add okay spelling is correct or not yeah, users yeah then add 
and uh, users this control C control B yeah this one I want and why this is showing error let me check okay I understood because uh, we are storing the data as a static so I have to write a static here static okay now we can store new and the user okay and ID should be one and uh, after that name name is money then uh, lo local date that date of birth how can we give local okay date yeah local date dot now <coughs> dot now but uh, we it will uh, if we use the local date now so it will give the current date okay so we are taking a date of birth so we have to minus here so we can we can easily identify the years of a uh, user so minus 35 30 okay fine and uh, spelling is wrong here user user -E user okay done so we can okay in starting just uh, store three user details no problem change the id okay two three here change the name ravi and uh, i change third name as uh, rekha okay this three and uh, this one is 25 20 and this is 25 okay done so you can see that we are we create the list of user as a static we are storing the data so we store the three details of user and we are storing inside the user okay user class so if i want to if i want to uh, retrieve uh, this data using uh, get all using by id using by name so how we will so okay so for that what we have to do for that we have to uh, we have to use this class public list of user find all public user save if you want to save the user details and public user find one if we want to retrieve data using id so firstly we will understand this okay public list of user find all so for that what we have to do return return uh, return users okay it will return the all users okay in next video we will learn how to create the api and how to uh, retrieve the uh, retrieve data using find all using and how to store the user using uh, save okay so that's it in this video and thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel now let's start the series of spring boot okay in last video we